window. So if you're in a home, don't be around these. There could be quick warnings across these areas. So maybe morning hours. So there's that hazard through the overnight time frame. Then as we look at that forecast model, this front does her valley. That's going to make Tuesday severe weather hazards across all across New England. And because of the, how these move uh, in terms, it is going to bring in the opportunity for windows. So if you're in a home, don't be around these. There could be quick warnings across these areas. So maybe morning hours. So there's that hazard through the overnight time frame. Then as we look at the forecast model, this front desert valley, that's going to make Tuesday severe weather hazards across all across New England. And because of the, how these move and uh, terms, it is going to bring in the opportunity for your weather hazards are not done through the overnight hours for some of us is really where things start to amplify that severe weather potential across Texas, Louisiana, Arkansas, and southeastern Oklahoma. By Tuesday, the severe weather hazards will be moving along with this front across the lower Mississippi River Valley. So a lot of these areas may be prone to have tornado warnings. There's a watch until midnight. You know what to do if there's a tornado warning in your city. Well, that information is always scrolling at the bottom of the screen. But first thing you need to be seeking shelter immediately. Going to the lowest floor of your home in your building, somewhere where you can surround yourself with walls. Really avoid those windows. So if you're in a home, don't be around these windows here. Get to that interior room. If you don't have a basement, well, the best bet for you is to get to somewhere, for instance, like a bathroom room in the center of your household. Severe weather hazards is going to include Dallas through San Antonio, but really the main threat is going to be from Bryan through College or through College Station down through Houston, right up through Shreveport and into Little Rock, Arkansas. Here's where the wind threat is going to be highest, the highest probability of dealing with severe winds. That's a 60 mile an hour wind or stronger than that through the nighttime and early morning hours. There also comes along a tornado threat where we could see brief and nature tornadoes that's not to account for the intensity of these tornadoes but that means that they could happen really quickly especially since it's been a line of thunderstorms working through but there could be quick warnings across these areas so make sure that you know where to go know where to bring your kids your pets in case you get put under a warning through the early morning hours so there's that hazard through the overnight time frame then as we look at that forecast model this front doesn't just dissipate and quit it's going to continue to usher its way east to the lower mississippi River Valley. That's going to make Tuesday severe weather hazards across places like Mississippi out through Alabama, especially because the front is set to arrive in these areas later on in the day where we have a little bit more instability. There's where that wind potential is going to be for Memphis down through Montgomery, all the way down through the Gulf Coast and all the way up through places like Kentucky, southern Indiana, southern Illinois with a tornado threat across these spots too. As we time this out for you, Tuesday in the morning we see thunderstorms in Mississippi by the afternoon in through Alabama. And then as we get into the evening and overnight hours, possible storms for the Western Carolinas down through Georgia. So severe weather hazards will be possible for a couple nights in the row across the southeastern United States as this front moves through. So you need to have an overnight severe weather preparedness plan. And for more information, here's meteorologist Lauren Boswick. But as we switch gears and bring you up to the northeastern United States, we have been dealing with this coastal low that's been bringing in some uh, minor hazards here, really just an inconvenience across the northeast with uh, the Atlantic seaboard dealing with rain. Last 24 hours, we've had some pretty hefty amounts of localized rain for places like Ridge, New York, Egg Harbor in New Jersey. Most of these places right along the coastline where we were decked out in the cloud coverage on Monday. As as we look back the last 24 hours, really this stripe of rain is where we saw some of those two plus uh, rainfall totals here, and that contributed to an excessive rainfall outlook that has since expired as we get through Tuesday morning. Rain will continue through Tuesday here. Uh, it kind of keeps drizzly conditions here all the way out through the west, through the interstate, down through Burlington, Albany, and even New York City can expect a little bit more rainfall. We're not quite done with the active weather here across the Northeast. There 
is going to be potentially a tropical system that could bring in some rainfall interest here across the northeast. So let's talk about this system itself. Well, we have a high pressure system out into the open waters of the Atlantic. We have this coastal low that's been bringing in some rainfall across New England. And because of how these move uh, in terms of clockwise motion, counterclockwise motion with these, these pressure systems, it is going to bring in the opportunity for potentially a tropical system to funnel its way towards the Atlantic Sea. Teaming up together now, there still is a little bit of uncertainty in the forecast here, but this is likely to see some impacts, but mostly the rain will be on the eastern side of this potential incoming low. There is an additional low that moves through the northeast, and that's going to bring in some wet weather here. So here's our forecast surface models as we get into Wednesday. So this will be Wednesday's event moving through. Down at the surface, here comes that coastal low that's going to add to some of the rainfall totals and a lot of the same spots that have had a bit of a rainier start to this work week. In addition to an extra cold front that is moving its way through the central United States, creating severe weather, that moves through the northeast and brings in some rainy conditions here, and that will add to some of these rainfall totals across these locations. So we'll keep an eye on some of the soggier conditions across the northeast. More details in your eastern regional.